Welcome to Cujo Sound. This is Unity and Wise Integration. All right, everybody, welcome back to another session here at Kujo Sound. What we want to do today is that we're going to take the ambient area that we created before and create something that I call the ignore areas. By that, I mean an area like this one, which is covering the entire level. But what if we enter this specific house down here? This is marked here. If we enter that area, we want the bigger soundscape from out here to be muffled, or ignored, or in other ways dealt with. So what I've done is that I've created this tool system here where we can simply say that we want this area here, drag and drop it over here, poof, like that. Then when you're inside this area, it muffles the sound of whatever you want with this RTPC with this value. And I'll show you how to do that. So to define an area that we want to ignore, first of all, we need to create a new way of dealing with it. So we're going to make a comment here and just say, set ignored area. First of all, we're going to be creating it where it's just one area that gets ignored. And then we're going to make it the possibility of having as many as you want. We'll get to that. And that code gets a little bit hairy, but follow me on this one because it's really important. And it's really, really smart to do. And you can use it in a lot of creative, creative ways. Okay, so let's say that we want a public ambient area. You see this? It knows all our script names. So this is a game object with an ambient area script on. The ambient area script is the one that we created before to run this up here. So now we can simply add a list of all these. So a public ambient area, and we're going to call it the ignore area. There we go. And we also need, because we want to be able to control it, as you can see, we want to be able to control it with an ignore value and an RTPC. So we are going to be creating a public string, which is our RTPC ignore value. And we are just going to make it equal to RTPC underscore amp ignore value. Okay. The reason why we just call it this is that you can always change it whenever you want over here in the script in case you want it to be specific per game object or anything like that. So what we're going to do in our script here is that whenever we enter this ignored area, this RTPC gets sent to WISE and it muffles something. You can see it here in WISE. I have my ambient SFX here. We press a 5. And the ambient mixer here has a lot of RTPCs. RTPC amp ignore value, which I have created over here in my game syncs, as you can see, game parameters, RTPC amp ignore value goes between zero and one. And it has a slew rate because we don't want it to do it right away. We want it to be quiet whenever we enter or exit something. And so it's 0 0.2 units per second. That means that if it goes from zero to one, it's going to take five seconds to get there immediately. And if we leave, it's going to take only two seconds because it only load 0 0.5 units per second. That's a slew rate. I'll show you how this works. The default value is set to zero. In that way, we have our value here. So let's say we are inside one room and we enter an ignored area. Then this value becomes game audio specific for this room. Let's say we just send it to 0 0.6, which is what I have set it to over here in Unity, 0 0.6. So it doesn't muffle it all the way. And that means that this sound is now muffled with this amount of volume. It's about minus eight decibels, and it has a high pass filter of about 50% uh, of the sound is muffled. So this is a dynamic range per game object. So what this does is that whenever I enter the area that we want to ignore, or as set as an ignored area, then the main sound gets muffled a little bit. It's a really smart way of dealing with it, especially because we want to be able to control if there are hundreds of these rooms, but you need one sound to be overall. And you can also muffle it as say, when you enter a room, you can just muffle a little, a little bit. It doesn't have to be that much. And you can create as many RTPC values as you want to control this. I've just placed it on top of the ambient mixer here because I want it to be the same curve for all of these sounds. But you can, of course, down here, create 
another ambient mixer if you want, one that is muffled more, one that is muffled less, that's all the way up to you. Good. So in the script, we have created our ignore value and we also need a public float, which is the value that we want to ignore. Because what if you want it to be only half muffled to that of the standard curve? You don't want it all the way. So a public float, which we're going to be calling the ignore value. And we set that value right away. Okay, so we are going to be creating a new void called check ignore list. Like this. The reason why we do it like this is that then we can just write check ignore list, parenthesis, start and stop, wherever we want in the code. So we are going to say that if ignore ignore area equals null, then of course return because we don't want anything to happen if there is none. Okay, so that's one thing. So if, and that's the cool thing, ignore area is an ambient area, which means that this has a public Boolean value of called is an area, as you can see here, which means that we can check if that is true. That means that we from one ambient area script game object can check if another ambient area is suddenly true. So down here in the code, if ignore area dot is in area, and that's simply that, if it's true, then we say ak sound engine dot set rtpc value. What is it that we want to set? We want to set the RTPC that we call RTPC ignore, comma, the ignore value that we have defined elsewhere. And we want it to happen on our audio emitter. Like that. So if we are suddenly inside an ignored area, and of course, if the ignored area is not existing, then we return. But if it is, it sets the RTPC value of the that we define in our string over here with this value that we set there and sends that. And if we are suddenly not inside this area, then else then, which means that if we are not, if this is not in area, then we set this value here. So AK sound engine dot set RTPC value RTPC ignore comma zero comma audio emitter. There we go. So then it sets it back to zero if we are leaving this area. What we can do is that now we have made this check ignore list here. And then we can go to our on trigger stay call here and simply down here say check ignore list like this. That means that every time this happens, that if something is staying inside the collider, we check. Are we inside this collider? Yes, we are, because we have to find that here. Are we inside one of the areas that we want to ignore? Yes, we are. Then this happens right here. Notice when I press play here in Unity how the we can actually do it the other way. And let's set this value to 1. That means that the outside ambience is completely ignored once we get there. I'll show you. So this is the outside ambience once we enter this room in here. The outside ambience is completely muffled. All you can hear is this lamp that is right here, which has a nice buzz. And then the inside of this room, and you can of course hear the re-trigger of all the footsteps, which is really annoying, which we're gonna fix. Basically because I lost the WISE project and the Unity project, so I needed to redo all this. That's why this footsteps keeps re-triggering. Go back and watch a couple of videos ago and you will notice how that could be solved. So if we leave here, the outside ambience fades in over two seconds. And when we enter, it fades in over five seconds, as we have already defined. In the next video, we're gonna go over how we can do this with arrays instead of it, because right now, as it only works here in the code, it only works with one area, as we have defined here. We want to be able to add multiple areas to this. We'll get to that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Please like and subscribe if you wanna know more. See you next time.
Thank you for watching Kujo Sound. If you want to know more about game audio, Unity, and Wise integrations, please like this video if you enjoyed it, and hit subscribe if you want to know more. Or head over to patreon.com forward slash Kujo Sound, where you for as little as one dollar a month can help me sustain this channel and the time I take off to create all this material. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Kujo Sound and Bjorn Jacobson signing out.